Greetings everyone, I am Feedy Hero and welcome to today's Monster Hunter World video. Today's video will be covering and breaking down the new Witcher Monster event, introducing the game where you will fight a new and release monster called the Agent Lucian, with go-to tips on how to prepare and fight back against him. Within this particular event, you will face an upgraded version of the standard Lucian you first face, which is more like a tempered version of the new monster, with new moves included. Although the vast majority of moves you come up against from the Agent Lucian and normal Lucian is the same, just like any enhanced or tempered version of the monster, they will hit you hard, and you need to be properly prepared before taking them on, as this will be a trial and error run on your end before you successfully slay one. I also advise you not to take him on solo just of yet, simply because of how aggressive and strong he will be up against you. Running this in groups for the first time is probably the best choice to pick, as it will at least give you a bit of breathing room when things get a bit too hectic, but also the opportunity to see what his attacks are like, and what are the best way to counter them. So firstly, let's break down his movesets from what I've seen. The knowledge you gain in the last fight against him holds little value this time round because of updated movesets, and then being a bit more stronger than before. Burst Swarm Plus, this time round, Agent Legion starts off with a bigger Burst Swarm and the recurring damage, tick damage, will be harder and faster. You can use Igni on him to disable this, but it takes around 3 shots to Igni to finally stack him and then disable his flock, so use it wisely. Bird Swarm Attack Plus This attack also got stronger and capable of knocking you to the ground and will take around 30-40% of your HP upon contact. Advise to have at least Vitality Boost 3 for 200 plus HP and around 400 to 450 defense so you can just have a bit of health to recover from. Media Attack Plus, occasionally he will use his claws to attack anyone who comes near him, which is capable of causing bleeding, and can knock you to the ground, which is a nightmare to deal with with the enhanced version. It's advised to bring some Estrella Jerky just for the situation, and for allowing you to recover your red health at a much faster speed. Tree Attack Area, there are two variants to this attack, but both will result in the Agent Lucian putting both his hands down to the ground. The first one will be a small array just around him, which is easily dodgeable and blockable, but the second will produce 3 waves of Root, each time the rage is getting a little bit bigger. This attack is powerful and can knock you to the ground and will take around 40-50% of your health when connected. Tree Root Attack Front When the Lesion places one hand on the ground, a Tree Root will come in like a cone shape in front of him, and can be easily blocked and dodged if you know the angle to avoid it on. Tree Root Attack Far When standing far away from Lesion, it has a Root Attack that is capable of dealing damage to those standing far away, where the telltale sign is a small root about to spark beneath your feet. Your best bet should be running away as soon as you see the root piling up on your feet, or block if you have a shield. Jagger Summon Plus Just like the normal Legion, Agent Legion is also capable of summoning these small lizards. The number of Jaguars this time is around a little bit higher than you have done before, and have a little bit more damage too. When they spawn, it's best to focus on getting rid of them quickly before you get overrun by them, or worse. Tree Cage Within this fight, sometimes Lishan will put one hand to the ground and the tree root will run towards you. If you're standing on the line during this, you will be caught in a cage and rendered immobile until you or your teammates use a flashbolt or igni to get away from it. Once this happens, your teammate will need to fire off a flashbolt or igni as soon as you get trapped, or else Lishan will combo you to death, or worse, send his burst to render you useless. Remember to do this when your teammates also get trapped as well. Massive Bird Swarm Attack Lastly, this moveset that the Agent Lishan does will charge up around the 3rd or 4th area, the other most common areas to where he does it, and will allow it to launch a big bird swarm towards everyone. It's instant killing anyone who get caught in the path. It can be stopped with a flash pod, so be prepared to have it ready when he is about to launch his move. The above list covers all the main powerful attacks that Lishan is capable of doing. Its arsenal alone can cause many problems for feisty hunters who don't learn to adapt and prep, and can punish groups severely if they choose not to optimize themselves properly. For those going solo, this may be a feat you won't pass straight away unless you run groups on him and have a solid understanding as to how most of his attacks play out. While Legion's attacks hit hard, fast, and consistently a lot, you can count on them by staying on top and through trial and error runs like the vast majority of fights. So, here are a few tricks I found to help. Agent Legion is vulnerable to flash pods, even though he doesn't have eyes from what I can tell, which means you can use them to stop powerful moons and stagger him to give you enough breathing room or an escape route. Also helpful for when you get trapped by his vine attack or swarmed by his Jaguars. Number 2, Legion is weak to fire by 3 stars, while also weak to thunder and dragon by 2 stars, and also weak to poison by 2 stars as well. 
So if you want to pump out a lot of damage in a small time frame, your best bet should be any weapon that has a lot of fire elements into it or poison status. Number three, use the Witch's Igni Stone to stagger Lishan or get rid of his tree roots. Just as the last fight with Vanilla Lishan, this variant is also weak to the Igni. However, it will take around two to three Igni shots to disable his burst for Marora and stagger him. So make sure all his hits are on point. Number four, try breaking his horns and body if you can. During the fight, if you manage to break Agent Lisa's parts, specifically his horn, you can weaken his abilities and he'll be a tad slower in terms of attacking. While it does take a while to break them, especially in groups, it's worth it for speeding up the fight and finishing Lisa quickly before it drags out. Number 5. If you have a Temple of your Mantle or a Apothecary Mantle, use them both. Both mantles can help with survival by either allowing you to dodge the most deadliest attacks or buff your statuses to render him immobile. Even the healing mantle has a place with it being able to absorb a blood attack head on by saving you in the process. Number 6, use the environment to your advantage. That boulder in the northeast camp area 11, right before your fight can be triggered and dropped on the Lishan for extra damage before the fight starts. Use it before he sees you. Also in area 5 there's a paralysis toad that can give you extra damage phase if Lishan gets affected, while in area 1 there's a healing plant that can restore 3 quarters of your health upon trigger. Whatever you see in the area, use it to your advantage, as it can help in terms of surviving long in the field and preserve items you have. And number 7, make sure your radio menu is fully kitted out and your backpack has the right items for the job, as resources are used heavily in this fight. You should find a good way to manage it by customizing the radiance menu to contain the crafting of mega potions and flash pots. You can save a lot of time scrolling through the menu that way and also the chance of not getting killed in the process. At the same time, item pouch should have items that will either help you survive longer or help you and your teammates survive longer. So potions, mega potions, demon, armor pill, life powder, flash bug, smoke bombs, etc. Bring to survive as this will fight will use up all your resources quickly. So now we know how he fights and we know some of the sure signs to avoid. Now we need to focus on the certain skills and builds to help with surviving the hunt and from what I've gathered, you want healing and defensive based skills over attack and DPS based skills because of how aggressive Lishan is. Health boost 3 will provide you an extra 100 plus health increase to allow you to survive the most punishing attacks that Lishan may throw at you. At the same time, recovery speed 3 when combined with health boost 3 will allow you to recover your red health at a much faster rate than through natural means. Commonly, through a lot of support based builds, Friendship 5, 3 mil, 1 and Mushroom Mancer are a very common setup for those that want to focus on purely survival of their team rather than DPS. Friendship 5 allows you to spread any support based items to our teams, so Potion, Deem Jerk, Astro Jerky, and can all be shared once used by you. 3 mil allows us a 25% chance of not consuming any items we use from our pouch, so Ration for example have a 25% chance of not being used if the skill is active. And Mushroom Mancer 3 allows us to bring out our inner moss wine and eat different types of mushrooms that offer different types of bonuses when applied. Lastly, skills such as Divine Protection 3 and Botanist kind of help fill the gap if you have any spare slots left to sip in. Divine Protection 3 will offer you a 50% chance of reduced damage than normal when activated, and Botanist can offer you a chance to gather more herbs and collect more world items in more quantities. With that being said and done, this is the build I ran with. My set focuses on a defensive slash attacker build, where I can keep up and out DPS Lishan and turtle as much as I want to keep focus away from my team and allow him to focus on me mainly. I have all the main basic skills you would see with many players, but also support the health boost skill and wide range for wider team support. Although it may not be fully decked out to support my team, the skills shown and playstyle shown offer me an alternative role to effectively play out, but of course you can build how you like and the weapon choice can be easily swapped to something more effective against Lishan, like a fire or poison weapon. With the above recommended setup, knowledge and around Lishan and skill preferences, you can now join any SOS flares and do your part to support your teammates through cooperative coordination. I do hope this guide has covered all the main issues and areas you would like to know about Lishan, as although he is hard to fight, he is not impossible to counter like many other monsters in game. Now if you enjoyed the video then do leave a like, a sub and a share as it helps my channel grow and it also helps you guys out with having a better understanding of how to fight better. But thank you hunters and everyone for coming by and I hope to see you all again soon.